Hey everybody, yeah, JCM here, and this is Star Trek Online. Uh, what was uh, what's the uh, new content called? Agents of Yesterday, and I created a new character called Tubbs, and he's a bit of a spoof on Kirk. He's got a big belly, and he's just he's just a funny version <laughs> of, of, of all that stuff. All right, so we're just gonna have some fun. We're gonna explore the content a little bit. And, uh, just check it out. It's never right get. <laughs> Records indicate that you have accomplished your training already. Would you like to replay tutorial? Uh, yes. Because take one didn't work because I didn't have my mic working. So, yes. Yes. Captain's log, stardate 6147.4. We're orbiting okay. planet Taurus 2 in the Murasaki 312 Nebula. Our orders? Investigate the disappearance of a science vessel in this area. Search and rescue operations are about to commence. People you can interact with have icons above their heads. You can press the interaction key to talk with them. Thanks. But I already know that. Alright. We're showing a television. Put it on map monsters. I wanna see what's going on here. <laughs> now that's a gut. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna have fun. I'm gonna have fun with this. Alright. I don't like bonus I don't know. Lieutenant, we've located the wreckage of a crashed ship down there. Oh. I need to get boots on the ground, find out what's going on. Okay. Take a landing. Not so fast. What? We can't use the transporters due to atmospheric interference. You'll need to take a shuttlecraft down. Use the sensors to locate a safe landing site. Can't beam through rain or something? Supposed to go this way. No, Scott. <laughs> dirt, 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 jumping ahead. Okay. Did you find a suitable landing area? Yep. Excellent. I've assigned Ensign Mears to your landing party. She's been to Taurus 2 before. Really? Her insight will be quite valuable. Meet up with her and the others in the shuttle bay. Don't forget to grab a phaser in the armory on your way. From what I've read in Jim Kirk's report, Taurus 2 can get a little rough. Okay. <laughs> now, I have been watching the original series on Netflix for the last couple of weeks, and oh my god, is it a freaky like it, this is also very different than what we do for sci-fi now and Tarsi reporting for duty the captains asked me to make sure you get back in one piece and I intend to do just that right let's see M class planet barely the Torians are big primitive and quick to anger I'd keep my phaser handy if I were you Speaking of which, if you want to follow me to the armory, we can make sure your phaser is properly calibrated. Alrighty. Well. <laughs> oh, this is some crazy shit. They went all out with this. They really went all out with this. Good shooting, Lieutenant. That should be enough. Unless you want more practice. Uh, okay. Well, look at my fighter. My fighter is... It's just like the original. <laughs> you got boobies. Alright, that way. We shut up, This way? I don't know. What the hell 
are those things? That's weird. What's in here? Hey, look at that. I don't know where that goes. Probably goes nowhere. There's another one right there. Hello. Ensign Mears reporting as ordered. I'm ready when you are. Though I can't say I'm happy to see Taurus 2 again. Hmm. I was one of the so-called Galileo 7, a science team sent to study the Murasaki effect. Our shuttle crashed on Taurus 2. Not all of us made it back to the Enterprise alive. Can I smell your hair? Thank you. You can see why I'm reluctant to return to such a place. <laughs> I... Yes, of course you're right, Lieutenant. I am a Starfleet officer and I will perform my duties. You can count on me. Alright, you for a ride. What was that about? What's over here? Okay, nothing. Pernicus, I read good. just as grim as I remember it here. My skin is crawling. I can't help but feel like the creatures are out there, watching us, waiting to attack. Right. Be. Okay. It appears the ship crashed somewhere north of here. There are two paths from here that lead to the crash site, and there may be survivors on both. All right. I recommend you take Alpha Team along the northwestern path, and I'll take Beta to the northeast. Okay. We'll rendezvous at the main crash site. Sounds good. Smell you later. Probably do something about that. That's pretty tiny. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. What the hell? There we go. There we go. Okay. Mission's up there, mission tracker up here. And the interaction window over here is where I like it. And that's it. That is it. Wait, 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 that's bugging me too. Alright, now it's centered. Alright. Now we can go. Is that a warpness cell? Wow, big. <laughs> you think that's big, honey? Definitely Federation tech here. What's left of a shuttlecraft's coolant assembly, according to my tricorder. There's your crash shuttle. What's left of it anyway? Look Oops, sorry. Come on here. Can that get work? Can I have a word, Lieutenant? Lieutenant, you won't be able to get close enough to revive him while that thing's venting plasma. Those valves should shut down the vents, though. Hey, you're such a bitch to him. Why are you so hostile? This thing's just a boxing. 
Thank you. We, we, we need to move. Those things, they're out there. What things? Where? There? Boris, look out! <laughs> What do they feed these things? Never mind. Oh, man. Oh. I'm gonna die, damn it. Walks off. Really? Uh, I'm Dr. Phineas Grogan, part of a research team studying the Murasaki effect. Well, I was before the ship crashed. I was looking for supplies when that thing roared, got distracted, and and then that plasma coil blew. Damn near killed me. You're lucky to be alive, Doctor. You're telling me. We should get those supplies back to camp. Doctor Mueller's probably worried sick about it by now. Agreed. Damn, get out. Wait, the lead. <laughs> Are we good? Are we good? Right, okay, what's next? <sighs> Am I glad to see you? We thought we were stranded here with those... those monsters! We'll have you out of here soon, sir. Those supplies you brought will come in handy while we wait. Just put them over there for now. Okay. You know. There are some rifles in that crate. We should show the survivors how to shoot them. I'll set up some targets while you get ready. A, a phaser? I've never shot one of these Wait. before. You want me to shoot this? Yeah. Oh, wait, I got to quit that. Never mind. Get over there. <laughs> Fatty's got a gun now. <laughs> The targets are ready, Lieutenant. Let the survivors start shooting and get me. I get it. That gives me a lot more control. Wow, thanks. That feels a lot better. to get these people to safety, Lieutenant. 
The Torians will be back, and in greater numbers. Okay, okay. I'll smell your hair later. Lieutenant, we've held them off so far because they're scared of our weapons. But I don't think that'll last much longer. We've got to fall back to the wreckage. I might have an idea. Oh, that's a good one. Shut the doors! They're right behind us! Okay. Last time I was here, Scotty, uh, Commander Scott, electrified the hull of our shuttle. That drove the Torians off when they tried to break in. Think we can pull something like that off here? Maybe. I don't know. It worked! Bless you, Scotty, wherever you are. I think we owe you a very nice bottle of scotch. All right. The Torians ambushed us. I managed to escape, but the others... They've been taken. We've got to do something, and fast! Okay. I was thinking we can use our tricorders to track residual heat signatures left by the Torians. Okay. Stand there. Thanks for coming back for us, sir. We owe you one. Pretty sure those things were gonna have us for dinner. Yep. Now what? Right. 
fascinating. The Torians appear to be in a late Stone Age state of development. Now isn't the best time for an anthropology lecture, Skial. Am I seeing things? Because those guys picking through the wreckage sure look like Klingons. Just oh shit, yeah, they are. Switch my pistol. My pistol. Looks like they aren't in the mood for questions, Lieutenant. Is that a Klingon pad? Bring it to me. I have some experience decrypting Klingon data. Huh. My little sister's diary was harder to decrypt. Sure, Klingons are good at fighting, but computers aren't their strong suit. And voila! One Klingon pad, unlocked and ready for your inspection. Captain Korn, your plan has worked perfectly, sir. Many ships have fallen into our trap. We've snared a few merchant ships and a Starfleet science vessel so far. You'll be pleased to hear that we're picking up a Federation cruiser on long-range sensors. Constitution class. Time to hunt bigger game. Glory to the Empire! Well, that just sucks. Looks like the Klingons are using both guile and brute force here, Lieutenant. A pretty potent combination. The captain's definitely going to want to hear about this. Alright, now what? Oh, man. Ow! Superpowers. I have super bitch powers. Bitch, bitch slap powers. Bitch. Hey <laughs> oh, I better hide. What the hell are you doing over there? Alright, I'll heal you with ya. Heal you with ya. So you got three of these things. Klingons. Let's get back to the shuttle before more of them show up. Uh, too late. We have to go that way? <laughs> Crap. I think we have to go this way. Do we have to go this way? No, we don't have to. Let's go. Let's get out of here. No, we have to. Do this. Oh, damn it. Buffs. Engage. Buffs. Alright, I'm supposed to the right one now. Enough of this bullshit. Why won't you fight? Oh, come on. 
deflate him. That better be all. Enter the pass. Can I go this way? Yep. Uh-oh, more clingies. We're ready to go when you are. Hope this thing's got enough fuel to get us back to the ship. Why is it running on gasoline? Are you ready to board the shuttle, Lieutenant? Yes! Gosh! Forklift ship away! Oh man, I need a drink. Never thought I'd be so happy to see a shuttle bay. I admit I had my doubts in the beginning. Didn't think I'd hold it together down there. Every time I heard those things roar. But here I am. Thanks for believing in me. Couldn't have done it without you, Anson. Thanks. Bye. Klingons have breached the hull on the engineering deck and blocked our access. Since I can't send security in, I need you to secure the deck. Okay. Start with the engineering room. Okay. I'm remembering an old Earth adage about leaping from frying pans into fires. Your orders, Lieutenant? Shut up and show me your boobies. Sounds like you're needed in the engineering lab. Yeah, I have to go over here. I'll cover you while you clear out the lab, Lieutenant. Okay. Oh, I got you. Thanks. Yeah, if I can just get you all to this, fuck off and die. Down our primary plasma conduits. Get them running fast. One minute. Hello, right there. Nice. Ah, there. Yeah, I just push all these colored buttons for no good reason. Plasma conduits reinitialized. Auxiliary power restored. Now clear out that armory. that in launch. In the launch. Watch right. out! More Klingons! Where? <laughs> Alright, you want to clear out of here. Ha ha ha. 
Thank you. Great work. Secure engineering next, if you can. Can I give you better weapons? No? Alright. Mm. How do you heal yourself? We've cleared the rest of the deck, Lieutenant. Well done. You and somebody hold here. I'll clear out my engine. Sensors showed you have secured the engineering unit. Check the power relays for the weapon systems. Looks like the Klingons fried them during the fight. Okay. Weapon power relays are up and running. Charge all phaser banks. I need you on the bridge, Lieutenant. Okay. Oh, let's go through these walls. Ooh! <laughs> Almost got some paste. Sir, incoming transmission. I'll get it. Federation Starship, this is Captain Kor. Surrender if you must, but I'd rather you fight with honor. Good old whiskey. Uh, I better talk to the captain. Good work, Lieutenant. The Klingons will think twice before they try to board this ship again. Twin now take the helm. We need to get to a friendly sector. Alrighty. Okay. Take in helm, Captain. Sensors are picking up Klingon power signatures in two nearby satellites. I'm thinking they're broadcasting the distress signals that lured in our ships. Nah. -uh. Bring us in close so we can scan them and find out. Okay. But first, I'm gonna rearrange my hood. Let's see here. You go over here. There you go. Let's see here. Tray about there. There. Right. Make sure this is set up. And let's see. Duck, duck. Power to weapons duck is here. Lock you. Engines are fine. Ah, uh, shields. Uh, yeah, okay. I want a little bit more in the engines, so I'm going to max that out. Alright. And save res these preset. Is retro as fuck. Wow. Science report coming in now. The satellites are using a triaxilating signal. It's strong enough to cut through the interference and reach ships outside the nebula. Clever. Almost a shame we have to blow them up, isn't it? No, really, I don't care. Warning. Is under attack. Nice work. One down. One to go. Looks like this one is shielded, though. Uh oh. Full import, dumb 
dumb. Ship nipple disc, cause you know, it looks like a, a nipple disc. Look at that, you know, it's a nipple disc. Alright. Cage fully cause. some energy and get them started again. Alright. Thanks for everything. Good luck with the Klingons. Lieutenant, I made some modifications to our torpedo launcher. I think you'll like the results. Okay. Actually, hold on a minute. Get rid of these because I never use them. these order. Okay. So, let's see here. Yep, that'll work. Alright, now where the hell do we go? So shift. Yeah, I don't know. Alright, let's go over here.
USS Enterprise. Acknowledge, please. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go get some action. So, the cub comes to fight beside the wolfie. And now you will die with him as well. <laughs> Thank you for your assistance. Okay. Looks like we're done here, people. Starfleet Command wants us and Enterprise back for a debriefing on this mess. Okay. Helm, set a course for Earth space dock. Right Warp factor three. Setting collision. Conclusion. Conclusion. Setting collision course for Earth space dock. Beep. Captain Garrett wants to see you in his office, Lieutenant. But he says to feel free to mingle with the other officers first. No. I take. <laughs> you. Um, keep it up. <laughs> the lighting is just like the show. Oh my God. I've been watching an episode today where, well, yeah. but man, yeah, oh, it's freaky. Ah, oh, crap. I have to talk to all these people? It's been a pleasure working with you. Alright, smell you later. Who are you? If you're going into the lion's den, you'll need a medical officer. Okay. Okay. What do you got? That was some fine work back there, friend. Thank you. Ah, must be my imagination then. Okay. You We were in Starfleet Academy together. Why are you sad about it? Huh? I love you too. May the great bird of the galaxy bless your planet. <laughs> These are horrible sound bites. These are just horrible. Hey. Neat. Yeah, I guess we're through here. Talk to oh, I missed one. Lieutenant O'Hara of the Starship Enterprise. Bang you later. Now we can go in here. Okay, hi, right. how you doing? Thanks for coming. I have some good news to share. <laughs> First off, Fleet promoted me to Admiral. I'll be working with Deep Space Command on several exploration initiatives there. Our ship's going to need a new captain. I've talked it over with Command, and they agree with my recommendation. You. Me? Congratulations, my friend. I know the ship will be in good hands once I'm away. Good, greasy, bacon-covered hands. I don't think hand. you've gotten rid of me, yes. though. I plan on keeping you plenty busy out there. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Um, uh, okay. Every generation, Starfleet officers hear the call of duty. 
Hidden dangers lurk in space, and the threat of Klingon attack has made even the most stout-hearted reconsider their choice to travel throughout the stars. A last-ditch effort to find a common ground could end this conflict, but there are many who oppose peace. If the Federation is to be saved from chaos, new officers will need to take up the task of restoring peace. Live long and prosper, Lieutenant. The hell was that shit about? I've outlined important people you should talk to while visiting Earth's space dock. Okay. Speak with the tailor to customize your appearance. <clears throat> After that, speak with the ship vendor to claim a shuttlecraft. Okay. Hello, titties. Right. So this is Earth's space dock in the 23rd century. Lots of weird buttons. It is so cool to see, you know, 1960s concept of science fiction and, and future technology <laughs> as being pretty much this. Wow. I was, oh man, that's some crazy stuff. What's in here? Shipyard. Go to the shipyard, y'all. Ship vendor. Get a new shippy. Brown selection. -y. All right, utility cruiser. Is that what I got here? Okay. What about this one? Uh, crap. Can't afford it. Is that it? Is that it? Okay. I know that being a starship captain is a big responsibility, but I believe you're up to the task. If you feel that your ship is ready for its next mission, I can give you new orders. Okay. Stay safe out there. Oh. Hmm. Alright, well that'll do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And, uh, I don't know, if you guys want to see me do more missions and stuff, let me know in the comment section. Train my spaceship. Wow, I got like six points. Wow, that's that's crazy. Alright, yes. Yes. Yes, I need my energy weapons. Need shield capacity. Need shield restoration. Yeah. Got two left. All capacity. 
and hull restoration. Uh, what? Hamsters. What is this? Endurance training. Let's go crazy about it. Uh, Kip performance. Well, I don't really know all that much about these. I think I might go this way. And I get one more. Uh, yeah, that one. Let's see, did I get traits yet? Okay, I got basic traits. I'll have to retrain those though. guys enjoyed, uh, like and subscribe, and if you guys want to see more adventures of Captain Tubbs, <laughs> you know, let me know. <laughs> I'll be happy to do them. So, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. I'm gonna go talk to that bitch. Get into her panties. Okay, that, that came off creepy. Sorry. <laughs>